Five differences between IP or HD cameras in simple language. Let's go. Let's take the most popular HD camera. 50 Surinamese dollars and the most well-liked IP camera. How to comprehend where HD, where IP cameras are located? Externally, you can understand this only by looking at the connector. The connector on an IP camera is always square, known as RG45. The connector for an HD camera is always round, referred to as BNC connector. Power connectors, as we can see, they're identical. IP cameras are 1.5 times pricier, but they're higher quality. That is, there is improved detailing of the pixels. IP cameras always have double the number of frames per second when we discuss 2K or 4K images. That is, there is no difference in FPS, that is, the number of frames per second at 2 megapixels. But if we're talking 5 megapixels or 8 megapixels, it'll always be there. Noticeable disparity in FPS is evident. This will have a crucial impact if there are fast-moving objects on your object. For instance, a person would be running or a car would be driving on cameras with a low FPS. For example, this is 8 or 12 frames per second on a typical 8 megapixel HD camera. There you will see a blurry picture. While on 8 megapixel IP standard cameras, such as the ATCF MBA model or the ready-made Ison Alpha Pro X system, there will be 30 frames per second and you will already see a clear, understandable picture with good detail. IP video surveillance is always twisted pair cable. HD video surveillance is a coaxial cable. There are techniques to lay HD video surveillance over twisted pair. However, it is no longer feasible to lay IP video surveillance over coaxial cable. Third point, IP versions have wireless Wi-Fi transmission. That is, in cases where there is no physical cable connecting the camera and the video recorder. HD video surveillance does not have this. There are, of course, old versions of radio channel transmission, but it will all be in terrible quality. In B&W, O will be smashing. For high quality wireless transmission, only the IP standard is needed. Also remember that all IP cameras require power at the installation site. So you need to either organize a socket or a power supply near the camera. In other words, wireless video surveillance isn't truly wireless. Fourth point, IP video surveillance has advanced analytics. For instance, you need to set up surveillance in the parking lot so that when a car comes, the number is automatically read and the barrier opens. This is only possible in IP video surveillance. The fifth point of the IP camera can be easily connected to the network, computer or server and they will work. In order for the HD camera to work, it needs a video recorder. Someone can say that IP video surveillance has more advantages and definitely needs to be taken IP. It's true, but IP is also one and a half times more expensive. Currently people buy 50% HD, 50% IP. To clarify, stating that one format performs significantly better than another is not the same as saying HD is weaker in certain parameters, but it has a more favorable price. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with new videos.